Flipping tonight, the results are in in the nation's most expensive campaign for a U.S. House seat ever. Special election in Georgia that many viewed as a referendum on President Trump. Republican Karen Handel, well, she is Georgia's former Secretary of State, she defeated Democrat John Ossoff. Handel has 52% of the vote, Ossoff 47%. Republicans have held that seat for four decades. Democrats hope for an upset and hope to send a message straight up to the president. Well, President Trump responded on Twitter. Congratulations to Karen Handel on her big win in Georgia 6th. Fantastic job. We are all very proud of you. Now, KCONI political director Dave uh, Bryan has the latest details on this developing story today. And some more than $40 million spent on this race. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, about $50 million yeah. altogether if you count outside groups. Sure. You know, this was the night the Democrats were really going to kick off their 2018 midterm election campaign. Didn't go very well. To put things in perspective, this is a southern district that has gone Republican ever since Jimmy Carter was president. But on the other hand, it's a district that Donald Trump won by only a couple of percent last year, and Democrats across the country, including California, were energized to pull off a desperately needed win. Before the votes were counted, Atlanta Congressman John Lewis, an icon of the civil rights movement, danced on stage, anticipating that John Ossoff, the Democratic congressional candidate, would defeat Republican Karen Handel, the Republican in the most important congressional race this year. John Ossoff win. This young man can win. It would inspire hundreds and thousands and millions of young people all across America, all around our nation to stand up and be engaged. But it didn't happen. And in the end, it was Karen Handel, the Republican candidate, who won the night in the Georgia 6th Congressional District north of Atlanta and got a roaring reception from her supporters. Tonight, I stand before you extraordinarily humbled and honored at the tremendous privilege and high responsibility that you and the people across the 6th District have given to me to represent you in the United States House of Representatives. CNN political director David Chalian says this is a stunning blow for the Democrats. Democrats went all in on this. They raised a ton of money, significantly outspent Republicans. This was the best shot Democrats had in these special elections to really try to make a, a victory in the Trump era. And they came up short, which now, of course, is going to create a whole series of questions about how the Democratic Party should run uh, in the era of Donald Trump because they came up short here. Make no mistake, the man at the center of this election was President Donald Trump, and the outcome will have an outsized impact on the national political scene. We showed the world that in places where no one thought it was even possible to fight, we could fight. The Democrats made this election the early centerpiece of their plan to win majorities in Congress next year, and a win in this overwhelmingly Republican district would have been a dramatic kickoff. For that reason, this was the most expensive congressional campaign in American history, with more than $50 million spent by the campaigns and outside groups. In fact, more than a half million dollars came from California contributors, nearly as much as the dollars from Georgia contributors, most of it for Ossoff. And a Democratic club in San Francisco even set up a phone bank to call Ossoff supporters in Georgia. That's a really wonderful silver lining that more people care about the political process than ever before. Now, one reason the Republicans won this election was their message, hammering away at the Ossoff, at, at Ossoff as a Nancy Pelosi Democrat with San Francisco values. Those are fighting words in Georgia and have consistently destroyed Democratic candidates in conservative southern congressional districts, including pretty much all of Georgia outside of Atlanta. Jeff? Okay, Dave, so the $64,000 question is, where does this leave the Democratic Party at this hour? Yeah, well, let's say it's not a very good place where they've been left with this. It leaves the Democrats with a lot of work to do. This is the fourth special congressional election the Democrats have lost since President Trump was elected. All Republican districts, but this was the one they went all in on and believe they had a real chance to win. That will make it harder now to convince potential candidates to run in Republican districts next year, and may scare away some big money contributors as well. Jeff, Elsa, back to you. Yeah,